Today I'm going to be discussing the ability to connect to a web mapping service and pulling in an aerial image through that web mapping service. What is a web mapping service first of all? A web mapping service is a remote server somewhere that a, a GIS entity is hosting for you. Um, and as long as you have connection to the server, you can pull in the data that's on the server. Okay. So to do this first, I must set my drawing to have a coordinate zone. I'm going to go ahead and come up here and I'm in civil 3d, but this, uh, the, the web mapping service connection can be done within map 3d or civil 3d. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and first assign my drawing a coordinate zone. I'm getting this every time I make a video. This is benign. This does not happen when I make a video. I do not know why this is happening. It doesn't do anything. I've been playing with it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set my coordinate zone to the one I use probably the most. Of. So I do a lot of work in Texas. So it's going to be TX83-CF, uh, Texas zone, uh, central zone US foot, NAD 83. Okay. And I'm going to hit apply and hit OK. Now, I'm going to now uh, use the Map 3D tools uh, that I spoke of earlier to connect to the WMS. To do so, I must bring up the Map 3D task pane. Within Civil 3D, I can head over here to the Home tab, Palettes Flyout, and you will see the Map task pane right here. Um, if you're not using Civil 3D and you're using Map 3D, you can also type in Map uh, w space, let me spell that correctly, map W space, hit enter, and at the command line you can turn it on. Okay, my map task pane is set to auto hide, but here it is. In a minute we're going to be bringing in an aerial image and it's going to be connecting and we're going to have a map 3D layer populated here that re is representing that image. This is not to be confused with an AutoCAD layer. I can control it through here whether I want to see it on or off. I am now going to connect to the data by using this button right here, the, the data button. I'm going to connect to uh, click on it and I'm going to select connect to data. And give it a second or so and it should pop up. Okay, there it is. Um, now that I have it uh, open, I want to verify that I have the option to add WS connection as my uh, my connection my provider my connections that I want to use like I said earlier I am doing most of my work in Texas so I'm going to just call this aerial image uh, Texas if I can spell Texas the state will be very proud of me depending on what uh, the URL was provided for you you would type it in here there is one that I use quite often and it has saved it for me so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. This one comes from the Texas Natural Resource Information Systems website. Uh, they provide a lot of GIS data for the state of Texas for free. Uh, so this is all for free for us. I am not going to change anything right here on the version. But if there are version uh, numbers that are required by your, your uh, GIS entity, then you would use that up as well. And if I wanted to edit proxy settings for that server, I must do so here. Okay, like I said, I'm not changing anything. I'm going to go ahead and connect. Now, in some cases, you might need a username and password to connect to the server, which I'm sure they would have provided for you. If not, uh, in this case, I don't need one, so I just simply hit login because it's a free service to us. So I'm going to hit login, and I will, am now connected to that server. Okay. I can choose the image that I want to bring in. In this case, we only have one, but I do have the ability to choose whatever image. If there were more, I'm going to bring in this image right here. I can choose the image format. Okay. Like I said, I'm not changing anything. I can choose the coordinate so, uh, system code that the, uh, so the image might be using. In this case, I'm going to take the defaults. And this is the coordinate zone that it was collected in. I can click on this and edit it if need be, if there's an, uh, 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 an error for whatever reason in this this data because this was collected in uh, lat long 84 uh, it will transform itself to the TX83 coordinate zone that I had set up earlier when I am done I can select add to map and it's proceeding to add those layers 
there's my aerial image and if you look right here you will see there's the the layer that I was speaking of earlier I can turn it on or off I'm not going to do that here because it does take some time to process and there is the state of Texas and as you zoom into the state of Texas you're going to probably first be upset saying well it's very pixelated it does nothing for me but give it some time and you will see that it will adjust itself to the re the resolution will adjust itself to the size uh, to uh, to the area that you're zoomed out at. Okay, so this looks like uh, this looks like San Antonio, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I see that lake. Okay, okay. So this is downtown San Antonio, and as I zoom in, you're going to see the pixels adjust accordingly. Okay, there is the Alamo right there. So I guess we'll zoom into the Alamo, and as you can see as I zoom in the area becomes more and more crisp there will come a point where the resolution just stops adjusting and it's pixelated and but you know for an overall general idea of what's going on in this area this is a pretty good uh, tool now once I'm done with this like I said you, you must connect to it but once I'm done I can disconnect and I lose just so you know I lose that aerial imagery Okay, so you must have that connection in order for that to appear. If you're not connected, then that image will not be useful to you. Okay, just something to be aware of. All right, hope this helps. Thank you for watching.